Hi everybody, Scott Breen in Lodge Grass. We're almost three months ago to this very day, I stood right here explaining the anticipation of a brand new coffee shop and barber shop. The first two new businesses in this Lodge Grass community in over 40 years. On the res, you don't really have a, uh, there's not a lot of people that cut hair, well, that cut hair good. This is Mervil Phelan, who remembers growing up in Crow Agency, seeking a service not readily available. I needed a haircut and everybody that cut hair was gone or, to be honest, was in jail. So at age nine, Mervil literally took matters into his own hands. I uh, went home and I found some clippers underneath our bathroom sink and I put a guard on and just started cutting my own hair. He hasn't trusted anybody to cut his hair since. Fast forward 20 years and Merville is the only certified barber here in a move even he did not see coming. I said straight up, man, I'll go anywhere in the world but Lodge Grass. And as soon as that left my lips, when I was like 18 years old, I, was, I literally hung my head and was like, oh, I'm going to Lodge Grass one day. And here he is, sharing his newly equipped trailer with a coffee shop in a cleaned up community on the rise. Hence the business name, Arise. Before a steady stream of customers, up these stairs and through this sliding glass door, proudly sits Tough Good Luck, a young regular in for his meticulously stylish fade. He really does well with Mervil. Like, uh, we've been to other places and he wasn't really like, I think it's just like a kind of feel thing for him, like textures and everything. Now, Merville wants to do well for the community he and his family have planted roots. Thoughtfully, it's right down to the detail of how he even spins his barber seat. Because I face the chair this way. People come in, sit down, and as soon as I do this, they're like, I don't feel like I'm in lodge grass. It's not that we don't want them to feel like they're in lodge grass. We want them to feel that lodge grass is getting better. Lodge grass is growing. Lodge grass is rehabilitating. And there's proof in the six weeks since their grand opening, not a single sign of vandalism or even disturbance. Man, we haven't had one incident. We haven't had no fights. So with two new businesses sharing one deck, Merville says the next hopeful move is driving traffic toward town with a logoed interstate sign. Like-minded, Mayor Quincy Dabney is also eager for growth at a moderate pace. I do want to give this time to grow. Maybe eventually it's a penny candy store like this one. The town's original cozy corner. The retro, the 70s, the red top leather with the um, chrome wrap seats and then put that sign up there. You can almost envision that sign on the interstate. Cuts, coffee, candy. Next exit. In Lodge Grass, Scott Breen, MTN News. And just kind of being here for people.